welcome to the ITU 2022 Plenipotentiary Conference here in Bucharest, Romania, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Amra Talat, who is the Minister of Communications and Information Technology for Egypt. Dr. Talat, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for inviting me. Great to be with you. Now, Excellency, I wanted to ask you uh, to begin with the ITU uh, Plenipotentiary Conference, which is obviously happening here in, uh, in Romania, uh, is working hard together with member states to serve two main goals, namely universal connectivity and sustainable digital transformation. I know that Egypt is developing its national initiatives in line with the international collective moves. Uh, I wanted to ask you if you could possibly tell us a little bit about digital Egypt and how it serves uh, the, on the sustainable digital transformation front. Indeed, Digital Egypt is uh, a great aspiration that everybody in Egypt is uh, currently working uh, on and, and uh, aspiring for. Uh, we've set a strategy for Digital Egypt uh, four years back that uh, stands over several pillars. Uh, one of the, the most important pillars in building Digital Egypt is digitalizing the government services that uh, we, we render to our citizens. Uh, we started by forming a uh, data repository for all uh, the databases uh, the government uh, is in possession of that, to give us a better digital uh, framework and a digital characteristics of our citizens that would help us serve them better. And then, of course, we digitalized the processes uh, itself uh, of different uh, government serving agencies. And finally, we built uh, the clouds and infrastructure together with the platform that uh, renders uh, those services. Currently, we have around 150 fully digitalized services uh, on the platform uh, that we uh, avail to, to our citizens, and we're working to finalize the rest of uh, the, the, uh, the services by end of, uh, of this year. Uh, this has been coupled with uh, um, enhancing our digital infrastructure. Uh, we started back in uh, 2018. Uh, we invested around $2 billion in the fixed broadband uh, network, uh, replacing copper with fiber and extending uh, the, the, the mesh uh, across the country. Uh, since the beginning of 2020, Egypt is number one in Africa in the average uh, high, uh, high speed internet uh, for the continent. Where it's, uh, it's a position that we're uh, we're happy with and we, we plan to keep on. Now, it's very interesting to hear all about uh, Digital Egypt and the comprehensive plans that it's uh, serving. I wanted to ask you, perhaps you could speak to us a bit more about how the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology in Egypt is serving universal connectivity fronts, uh, especially because, of course, as we know, 2.7 billion people are still unconnected. Egypt um, enjoys uh, a unique geographical uh, uh, position in the world. Uh, hence, uh, over 90% of the data flow uh, flowing between the east and west uh, passes through Egyptian soil and Egyptian uh, seas. Uh, this uh, uh, is uh, a, a characteristic that obliges Egypt to uh, better serve and uh, uh, maintain the connectivity of uh, the, friend, the friendly countries uh, around us. Around 16 uh, cables, international uh, submarine cables passes through uh, Egypt. Hence, we have doubled the infrastructure of the domestic network that transfers this data between the, the Red Sea and uh, the Mediterranean uh, uh, to, to pass from, from east to the west. Uh, we've invested uh, $1.5 billion in uh, enhancing and robusting this uh, domestic network to be uh, able uh, to better serve our neighbors. Also, we started a project for an international submarine cable that uh, would pass all around Africa and then onto uh, the uh, countries on both shores of Africa, onwards to uh, the, the, the inland uh, countries to better uh, avail uh, cyber access uh, to our friends in Africa. I know that Egypt, amongst other countries, are privileged with a young population. And uh, I wanted to ask you, perhaps you could talk to us a little bit about the national plans to build on the strength of the human factor. Actually, this is the core of the strategy of uh, building digital Egypt. 
uh, to expand the, the skill pool uh, of Egyptians across the disciplines and specializations of uh, the ICT uh, industries. Uh, in four years, we have multiplied uh, the budget for training of the Ministry of ICT in Egypt uh, by 26. And we have ex uh, increased the number of trainees from 4,000 uh, back in 2018 to 250,000 this year. So a quarter of a million uh, trainees this year in order to expand uh, uh, our pool of uh, resources. We've also built the first um, uh, university in Africa specialized in uh, ICT with four uh, different uh, faculties. And we've built um, uh, incubators and training centers all across the country. We have around 30 uh, governorates, administrative uh, constituencies in, in Egypt. Uh, and the plan is to have an incubator and training center in each and every one of them. Uh, we've uh, finished around 12 so far. By the end of this year, we'll release eight more and onwards next year to complete. So the, 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 the human factor and the, the, the human development is uh, the cornerstone of uh, the strategy of Digital Egypt. Well, there's certainly an enormous amount of enthusiasm uh, and, and uh, it's great that, to find out that you can uh, build on that uh, capacity as well. I'm sure we've, we've uh, witnessed that ourselves and hackathons at uh, ITU events in Egypt and, uh, and as I say, they've all been extremely successful. I wanted to also ask you about the future of uh, electronic design and manufacturing in Egypt. How do you see that uh, evolving? This is one uh, 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 very important pillar uh, in uh, our strategy. Uh, maybe the, 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 the past uh, uh, few years between the pandemic and the current uh, sociopolitical crisis uh, has proven that th there is no stable region in the world where uh, uh, all uh, development uh, should flow to. So the, 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 the strategy of, of uh, most of the, the parties involved in, in this industry now is to distribute uh, their resources uh, uh, across the world. And definitely, uh, Egypt stands out as a country uh, that can attract um, uh, the resources and attract investments uh, in this uh, uh, very important specialization. We have around 50 to 60 uh, companies specialized in electronic design. We uh, plan to invest $1 billion in training in electronic design in the next three years in order, again, to have enough resources uh, to attract uh, uh, non-Egyptian companies to come to Egypt and set uh, centers uh, of excellence there. We also uh, plan uh, to help uh, Egyptian startups uh, specialized in electronic design uh, by, by uh, giving uh, financial resources and human resources uh, necessary for that. We also uh, uh, started uh, several uh, very promising agreements with leading uh, electronic uh, manufacturing uh, companies to set up um, uh, manufacturing plants uh, in Egypt for mobiles and, and tablets and, and, and uh, laptops. We, we plan to uh, continue on this route uh, in the coming few years. Now, just finally, you've given up, uh, I'm sure, what is a, a chunk of your busy schedule uh, to be here at the ICU Plenipotentiary Conference. Why, why is it important for you to be here physically here in Bucharest? Egypt has always uh, been an active uh, team player in uh, uh, the ITU since we joined back in 1876 and we joined uh, the council in 1973. So we're, we're an old and active member. We're proud of uh, the role that uh, uh, Egyptian experts uh, play in the ITU. We want to continue serving in the ITU and uh, cooperating uh, with uh, the rest of the countries in uh, uh, availing uh, access to more and more people, these 2.7 uh, million uh, citizens that we talked about. Uh, uh, better uh, connectivity, better service for people around the world uh, through the ITU. Well, we're very glad to have you here and we look forward to catching up with you again uh, in the very uh, near future, I'm sure. Dr. Mao, Minister of Communications and Information Technology for Egypt, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. Thank you very much for having me.